What's going on, everybody? This is Omnix over here, and we're back with more of the quarry, and we are headed to the final chapter of this game. It has been incredible. Last video, we lost Ryan and we lost Laura. I can't believe I made the incorrect decisions. I meant to choose shoot Chris Hackett. I did not, which led to everybody dying in that scene, and it's heartbreaking. I can't believe that, that happened, but thank God there's more playthroughs, right? So let's get it going. Got the next video. Let's get this chapter going. Let's go. We're back as Caitlin, and it's chapter 10, The Final Girl. Okay, nice. Hopefully they realize the camp is closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back for a chance to get. What are you gonna do? Cry. What are you gonna do? Hide. Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Our advantage point, right? So like up here? I don't feel comfortable being up here. Ooh. I've never been in here. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. All right, so what? It, what's that? Is it, can we even look in that? Probably not. Okay. She said get to a vantage point, but she didn't necessarily say what vantage point. Ah, no. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, all reality, she could just... Damn, do they not own flashlights? Holy shit. Let's see. Uh, honestly, there's dozens... I mean, this is as good as really... Oh, the High Priestess. We found another tarot card, guys. Hell yeah. All right. I don't think that's gonna this is where we're supposed to be at, so let's get out of here. But we did find a tarot card, so that makes for things to be a little bit better, I feel like, because finding them all gets you an achievement. If you didn't know. How long has this guy been here? The whole time. Just never noticed it. Prepare for attack. That doesn't... That's not good. I knew it. They foreshadowed this in the beginning. <laughs> Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh shit, I forgot Jacob was still alive. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. Dude, telling me. I made some bad decisions. <laughs> I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. My man is bitch made. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> I 
Oh, shit. Bye, Jacob. <laughs> gonna run screw it no! oh go 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 super speed it we're gonna get bit I'm not this time motherfucker oh, oh. <laughs> what is going on out there should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? Oh my god! Uh... There's no way it didn't see us. Maybe it didn't see us. Um, Caitlin, uh, oh my god, it's here. Uh, 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 wait. Don't run just yet. I seen his head pop up. There it is. What's up, buddy? Oh, shit, you're big. Back up! We should probably run now. One more time. He's getting back up. That wasn't enough. Caitlin. That's not going to hold him. Do something else. Run, 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 run. What the fuck was that? It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Go, 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 go. Oh, he's here. He's here. We can hide. Beam, window, beam, window, beam, win window. Quickly. Oh my god. No. Now. Should have did the beam, but I think, but whatever. Come on, Kate. Move a little bit faster. Oh, shit. <laughs> game of cat and mouse and I'm not I'm not feeling it well, we better move I... you left the door open shit I'm gonna have to hold my breath too <gasps> Oh shit, he's coming towards me! For the love. If you're gonna move, better move now. Go, go, go. Holy shit. Okay. 
Oh, damn it, not again. What is this guy, T-Rex? No, if we don't move, don't breathe, they won't see us? Come on. For real? God. Okay. Oh, we made it barely. Freezer. It's going to see me. Use decoy. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Good shit, Kate. Nice. I think we made some good decisions tonight <laughs> on this chapter. Oof. It's been a long night. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. Oh shit. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. That's kind of weird with these headphones. Neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. The moment I got goosebumps. Thanks, lady. Silas! Well, that was a fast traffic. Huh. I didn't break the curse. Damn it. Oh, deceased. Lauren and Travis reached a bloody end at each other's hands. That's a sad work. Travis, obviously, killed each other. Shit. Oh. Good job, Bobby. Also awesome. Constance Hackett. Laura shot Constance face off and struck for the gun. <laughs> Nick deceased. Oh, we did kill Nick. Damn it. Kaylee Hackett. Yeah, we, we kind of expe expected that. Chris is alive. And he was the werewolf, the, as we've seen. Sorry, Dylan. Nice, Abby. Also alive. <laughs> K. 
Caleb's okay. Okay, good. I like how it's quiet. There's nothing actually happening. There's no sound, nothing. I'm assuming it's because the music is down for me because it's because copyright. The white wolf alive. Can we even kill the white wolf? Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There've been some developments and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, 
an uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? Ask the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later, but that's where the trail goes a little cold. What about the family? Can they verify it? 
No. In fact, they've completely gone to ground. Nobody's heard from them since. Who can blame them? Innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors, Emma Mountbank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my god, is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No! So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. All right, guys, this is it. We finished the quarry. We had some deaths, unfortunately, but that's okay. And I'm happy that the game's done. It was a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to move on to the next series. It's probably not going to be anything new since there's nothing out as of yet, but I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, guys.